Nobody in this play is who they seem to be or who they think they are. It's about Flan and Weeza Kittredge, played by John and myself. They're this sort of extraordinary, almost vaudeville team together. They finish each other's sentences, and John and Allison are exactly that way in life as well. And our lives get interrupted by Paul, played by Corey Hawkins. Who is he is, I guess, sort of the question. They don't know his name. You know, something so simple as that. He comes in and, and interrupts our lives and changes them in, in ways that we didn't foresee and, and, and sort of upends our perfect life. He sees that perfect world and he wants to be a part of that. It sort of felt like when the cast came together, it was like they were always meant to do it. Trip is looking at it structurally in a new way. Allison brings something to it. Uh, Corey Hawkins is amazing. I think that's always when you know you've done a good job with, with the putting together of a cast for a play is sort of when it, it felt effortless. That's the great thing about being a playwright is that it's sort of like jazz. You've written the main theme and you want to see what they, what, what, how they play with it. And uh, that was, there's a lot of great jazz going up on the stage. The issues of the play become even more profound. The racial divide is wider than it's ever been because it is possible to vanish in America. I think one of the things that makes the play so relevant today is it's a play about connection. Especially in this country right now, we can feel so divided. Today there's so much connection, but not human connection. I think there's a longing for that. We're so intensely close and even further apart. It's one of the rare examples of a truly great play, a like true American masterpiece because it's just you and the play and the audience.